this this right hand rod's gonna tear off in any second. It keeps getting little twitches on the end of the rod. There she goes, go on. There she goes, live take, I knew it was gonna happen. Go on, my son. Where you going, love? I'm going fishing, I've had enough of this lockdown. I just gotta get out of the house. Can't get these pigs in this hard ground. I do like the chipping on the floor of mine. Bivvies up, bed chairs in, happy days. Right, setting up me uh me alarms now. I'm gonna go with a I might yeah, I'm gonna use free rods. I'm gonna go with a free rod setup today. And see how we get on, because uh the water's looking looking very fishable out there at the moment. So uh it looks like we could be getting a lot of action today, but you know, sometimes you you get them sometimes you don't but seeing as we're on lockdown i've managed to sneak, sneak myself out to a sneaky venue um quite a private venue may i add, add as well so I'm, I'm sh i should be all right i shouldn't get into any trouble by fishing here so uh well on that note i'll get the rod set up and i'll be back with you in a bit there we have it then guys rods are all set up and uh i was just going to run you through very quickly just before i show you the lake or the pond should i say um just gonna run you through what I'm gonna be doing in the next 24 hours. I just made myself a cup of tea, so uh, just gonna drink that and I'll run you through bait and tactics. Yeah, so I've decided to go with the, uh, you know, the balanced wafters. I'm gonna fish them on an IQD rig. I'll show you that shortly, guys, but I do love the the, uh, the wafters, but I have been told that there's a hell of a lot of bait that goes into this pond. Um, at the moment, the owner said he's been feeding them on some wheat germ formalin. So uh, I've, I've definitely got myself a bag of this as well, just to just to see what happens. So yeah, just rigging up now, guys. Uh, just opening up these salty squids. There, there's no way in hell that the you know these carp are gonna be able to risk the temptation of these. They're absolutely stinking. Yeah, so I've got my rig box out, guys. I'll just show you what I'll be doing. Um, it is barbless hooks on this lake, so. Uh, I shall be sticking by the rules. Yeah, so just really quickly, guys, just showing you what I'll be using. So I've got the 12 mil salty squid, just using that straight onto a bait screw with uh, two hook beads either side just to keep it in place. And then I'm using a size six wide gape, barbless, standard 15 pound IQD, and then rigged up to the top with a bit of, um, just a bit of anti-tangle sleeve, really. And then and that's just clipping straight onto my, uh, Straight to my main line. Both rods out, both fishing. Just check the alarms. All working lovely. Yeah, welcome back again. Um, obviously, I've been fishing now a couple of hours. Um, seen loads of activity, but I'm still yet to get any uh, get any action. Um, I was thinking about having a move, but it's not a it's not a massive venue, so I'm thinking I'm just as well. Just as well, you know, stick and hold, hold me guns, stick where I'm to and see, see how things pan out. But, uh, you know, I want to just, just take this little bit of time to say, um, obviously, I, I know and understand that a lot of you guys can't get out fishing at the moment with this coronavirus. And, um, you know, the rules are that we, we're on lockdown and we can't get out. So, uh, obviously, I'm quite lucky. So, um, I've, sort of, I've sort of got this venue sort of on my doorstep as such. But... Um, you know, I know for a lot of you guys out there, you haven't got that that sort of freedom as such. So uh, just, you know, just stay safe, stay home, and um, hopefully we can get through this, guys. But with that being said, I'll just run you through quickly, show you around the lake, and hopefully, you never know, I might get a bite or two. But I'm just going to bait up in a minute. I'm just been, uh, to be fair, I've just been hand feeding out some, um, just some, some of the pellet, what I was talking about earlier on. I'm literally just chucking a few of them out every sort of, like, 15 minutes so i'm just chuck some out now a minute just into the margin just where i'm fishing but um i can sort of see loads of signs of activity I'll, i mean i'll i'll pan you around pan you around now guys and just show you there's, there's the rods all set up all out there you can you can see what i mean the, the the venue's not absolutely massive but i just can't work out why they're not interested in taking any of my my uh my boilies i mean there's loads of activity of signs of fish moving. Um, I just can't see why they're not interested in taking any of my uh, any of my bait. To be fair, but that being said, I'll carry on and uh, 
I'll see if I can get get one temp one to uh, take a bite or two in a minute. I'm sure this this right hand rod's going to tear off in any second. It keeps getting little twitches on the end of the rod. There she goes. Go on. There she goes. Live take. I knew it was going to happen. Go on, my son. So there she is, guys. Rocking in at a massive 24 pound, 8 ounce. Absolutely stunning fish. Gave me a cracking fight. But uh, that being said, guys, you've got to have a laugh in these odd, odd times and uh, what's going on in this coronavirus. I want to say, you know, to everyone, stay safe. Stay at home. And, um, you know, it ain't going to be long, guys. We'll be able to get back out fishing. But tag a mate who you think would still blank in a lake in a pond like this. Um, share this video to as many people as you know who's a carp fisherman. And uh, on that note, happy days. And I'll catch you on the next one.